All right, guys, it's been super fun lately thinking about all the new stuff that's coming out for Splinterlands. You got so many cool videos coming out that are getting a lot more views than they used to. When I look at my channel, I got four, 2,000 on this one. I already talked about that last time. Who knows about the one I posted before this with the town hall review. And then I also did my huge giveaway stream. Thanks for everybody that hung out, gave away over 20 Splinterlands pack along with a lot of other stuff. And hopefully I'll be doing that again. And I might be on Splinterlands TV soon. Time will tell. Hopefully I have an update that f on that for you soon. But right now, let's just do something kind of fun. Let's go collect my season rewards. It's been a few days. The season has been over. I've been so busy with other things. I just haven't collected them. You know the story. I got my three main accounts. I got my Gold Steve account. And I got, you know, to just have a, a decent amount of fun with these accounts. Now, I haven't been uh, playing so much to start the new season, but let's go ahead and get in here. Let's claim these rewards. We're hoping for packs. We're hoping for legendary cards. And we're glad that this is the last time. Oh, no, no, wait. Almost the second to last time we're opening these boring looking gold chests. <laughs> Now these accounts play in diamond, but I don't know if I'm going to let them push all the way to diamond after the new set comes out. I'm going to have to see how their win percentages are, but it really depends on like maybe finally investing and getting them some slightly better cards. So we'll go ahead and do a reveal all here. We're hoping for packs to turn over. Big DEC numbers are cool now. Uh, any kind of epic card is awesome. There's a Dentrala. There's a cut rare card. Uh, you know, nothing super exciting there except for our Dinchwala. Nothing turned gold. Did we get any big dark energy crystals? No. So this was 40 chest. And as you can see, this maybe was a little bit boring. Now, if those were all actual gold chests, those DEC numbers would have been multiplied. And that would have been pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and get him a new quest. He doesn't have a death team. <laughs> so he can't do that quest this alt account sometimes isn't always able to do quests and when we get daily focuses it's going to be even harder for these these this account that only has four teams leveled up as opposed to all six that's something to note for the new new accounts i might have to go ahead and invest a little bit more or to close this account down and start renting his cards out time will tell on what i actually end up doing now let's go ahead and go over to my wife's account. She has a full set of teams, so she's able to compete with any quest. Of course, she hasn't been winning, unfortunately, with the death quest, but we'll go ahead and get into hers. Now she made it to Diamond 2 again. This account used to have enough power to make it up to Diamond 3, but um, we're, I mean, it has enough power to get up to Diamond 1, but it hasn't been able to get there because it's just become too competitive for the bot to actually push to that max reward. Let's go ahead, we got a pack, so that's our first pack, so that's really excellent. Again, this is kind of where I got my packs I gave away in the giveaway stream. So we'll see if we continue to get lucky and get any more packs or anything else. I'd also love to see a chest shake. So we didn't get a shaking chest, but we got two packs. We got a couple rare cards. Did we flip anything epic? No, no epic cards, but two packs. So that's awesome. We all like to get those packs. They're really cool to grab. So now let's go ahead and log in the Gold Steve account. So we'll log this one out now gold steve i haven't done an update on in a while i've just been a little bit too busy i've still been doing the quest i've still been buying cards i've still been trying to push him up and get him further i need to do my rentals for the season as his power is just a little bit under what he would need to be in silver but i actually have a little bit of dark energy crystals from my last share your battle post so i'm gonna go check out the market and see if i can buy a thousand power for a few dollars and if i can th there is some good news though that i'll share with you quickly he got his first epic gold card out of a rewards chest that's pretty cool pulled a seven dollar card helped the account value but mostly look at that power for this card really helping me get this card this account to the point where he won't have to rent anymore to play in silver three and that'll be really cool for the earning potential of this account especially if i can go ahead and get a decent amount of wins in silver three like i was doing with him when I play him manually, but time will tell in the new setup, I might actually have to invest in some slightly stronger cards to win in silver. We don't know yet. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and get his uh, chest. I haven't gotten any really cool chests in my end of seasons. They've all been kind of like a blump womp. And my last couple of quests that I actually completed to end the last season were pretty bad and were all potions. So this account is going to be the one that I think I'm going to be able to start doing the most updates on when the new ranked rewards come out. I, I, and I'll start to cover uh, the update, the growth of this count, account a lot more. And I will do one new update video later this week, kind of showing you where it stands with current cards, current values and where that $150 I invested has gotten this account so far. These are less, so we'll click on them. Any card here is good. Dark Energy Crystals is not as much. When you're leveling up a smaller account, you want cards because cards are more power. Cards can turn gold. That's even more power. This is already really solid. I think one of the better season endings I've had. And we have a few chests left. We got a nether card another card now they're all common so that's a little bit disappointing let's see if we can get anything to end with and an epic wow that is really i think some of the best season rewards i've had that's pretty amazing let's just go and look so that pushed me up about 100 power uh, to almost 200 power so now I only need 800 more to get to that 1500 but I will also be doing a little bit of renting probably just to make it the deck a little bit more competitive also I have to start to look at the option of possibly renting some of the level one ghost cards that I occasionally use most notably the untamed cards like the serpent of eld or I have to stop using them I also don't have a mustang and so pretty soon also, I could look into purchasing those cards, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think this account is going to try to stick with Chaos Legion cards because they're cheaper, and I know that makes it a little bit less competitive. But until I get maybe some really big cards that I could sell to go ahead and pick up some of the Untamed cards, obviously that is the last set that kind of sets people apart because, to be just completely honest, it's a lot harder to go ahead and get those cards for a new account it just is i understand that and this account has taught me that and i do feel sorry for the people who are stuck like that all right let's go to the main account so this is the one this is our last chance to get a gold uh, shaky card uh, or just a legendary card uh, there's my Chaos Legion packs that I got from one of my accounts. I do transfer them to my main account. And then once I build up over the 2000 mark by quite a bit like I did before, that's when I do those giveaway posts. So hopefully you see a lot of packs flip over. Again, I haven't been playing the last few days. I've been a little bit busy, but hopefully I'll get back to playing and questing again soon. Um, you know, obviously when the new ranked rewards come out, it, it'll, it'll hurt a lot more to miss a day. Right now it doesn't hurt as bad other than... The fact that the start of the season sometimes it's after the grind i like to take a day or two off and later on we'll see if that's not as much of a big deal all right let's do a reveal all let's get a shaky card come on we want a legendary today there's a rare there's a rare so at least we're pulling down some rares we're getting a lot of cards and not too many potions so that's a nice thing to see there's a pack we like to pull down those packs. They're pretty cool. There's another pack, especially with card value going back up. There's an epic card for my... There's another pack. It's kind of funny. Those packs are really low chances, but I want to see a legendary card. Where are my legendary cards? Come on. This is champion level rewards. Where are those legendary cards? Oh, that's something they're fixing, isn't it? There's another pack. Now, I won't be mad with all of those packs, but with all of those chests that I opened... I only got one epic card, and it is a good one. Uh, no gold today, right? I don't think anything turned gold on any of the flips. So that's something that I will be very glad this account doesn't have to deal with anymore. I have my first reason to start looking into investing in certain cards. And my first time to think about bringing money in. So look at my pack count. We're at 2,005. So, you know, I want to get this up to where I can give away a few more. I did... Um, kind of decide to go ahead and open 20 of these off stream uh you know i've opened up 25 of these packs and the only thing i got out of it was a scale doctor and some commons and some not so good rare cards opening packs can be a bummer when you don't win that lottery ticket i don't think i'll be opening any more of these until the airdrop is over and then if i do i'm going to open all 200 at once or i'm going to sell them and use them to buy rift watcher packs i don't know for sure but we'll see what i decide to do and either way you'll either see me open these or a bunch of rift watcher packs what do you think i should do thanks everybody for hanging out with me just for my quick little this is what i got this season on my rewards and i hope you have a good evening day or morning, depending on where you're at. Bye.